Hey everybody, Trigon here back with some more Budokai Tenkaichi 3. This time we're taking on Frieza. Alright, let's go. Goku heals his wounds from his confrontation with the Ginyu Force using the recuperation tank in Frieza's spaceship. Goku has become even more powerful after being brought back from the edge of death. He's the universe's best defense. So you're Frieza? You're a lot smaller than I thought you'd be. So there's still another scum left. Kakarot, it's you. Kakarot? But that's a Saiyan name. I know. You look just like that last Saiyan who opposed me when I destroyed planet Vegeta. All right, Frieza, let's boogie. And now, for some reason, I've got the Afro Luffy stuck in my head, but now it's Goku wearing an Afro, so... But now it's not stuck in your head, so good luck with that. All right. Basically, the easiest way to deal with this, I think, is to probably just go through the prompts, which means when the button input shows up on the screen to just press it. Because Frieza does take a lot of reduced damage from supers and stuff, so... Just going through those, because it is an automatic defeat scene, so... And we'll get to that when we get to it, but for now we just gotta wail on Frieza a bit. And I don't know if it's based on time or the amount of damage. And see, you can't guard too much because he does have his psychokinesis and another ability which you go through guarding. So if you guard too much, then you'll basically be a sitting duck. Alright. And I gotta get out of here. Okay, there we go. was not destroyed by a giant meteor. Give it up, Vegeta. There's no use. Why don't you just roll over and die? Frieza did it. Everyone was killed. Your father. My father. You must, Kakarot. Defeat Frieza for all Saiyans. That took long enough. Well, shall we reconvene this horror show then? Alright, so Vegeta, not Vegeta, excuse me. Frieza did recover all of his health, but I think I did too. I can't remember if he had all those bars of health before, but he might have. So basically the game is just trying to extend it so you'll go through all the prompts because of all the reduced damage and stuff. So basically that, I pretty much think that is the easiest way to do it. And here's the brush death thing, just going to avoid that. And okay, his key blast, oh no, his key blast wasn't gone. I thought it was gone so I was about to do something but... And there's this, one of his abilities, see how slow that was? If you let that hit you when you're guarding, it actually goes through your guard and it triggers the sequence so guarding against it does no good. And his psychokinesis also goes through your guard. And he's using it again. See how easy it is to avoid? So, yeah. There's no use trying to guard against that. Yeah, like I said before, I think I said that if you play too defensively, too defensively, it'll get you. I'm trying to quick smash here. But it doesn't work. Whatever. I'm going to stop doing that. And I'm going to get hit with his ultimate. Okay. I know I dodged it. We're good. Let me just ask you this before we finish. How would you like to work under me? You've got to be kidding. You really expect me to accept that offer? I 
thought you would say that. You say a lot are stubborn to the point of being fools. Well, there is only one route left for you to take. Death. We'll see, but it won't be so easy. Alright, okay, I thought he was gonna- oh, hang on, I was shaking and I wasn't pressing the button inputs. Okay, anyways. So, he didn't recover all of his health again, so that's good. And he actually has the icon next to his energy that shows that his energy will not power up as fast. So basically, we do have the advantage right now, and we can just keep wailing on him, and there isn't really much you can do about it. I'm just actually gonna use this now, just because I can, so. And let's see, the next prompt it either might come when he gets down a bar or if it's based on time. Well, I'm not really sure. So I guess I'm just going to pound on him and find out if it comes. And eat some dirt, Frieza. And come on. You know you want to eat more. Oh, don't grab me. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. All right. So let's see if I can. Nope. Okay, now he's just going to run away. That was kind of weird. He was shooting off in the distance with his key for no reason. And any second now. No, no prompt. Okay. So this one might be based on time. And I kind of repeatedly did that. Alright, there it is. Yeah, I think it was based on time because it didn't come immediately after I got him down to three bars. And I think. Okay, there we go. to me give it to me now actually I might have been mistaken about the reduced damage now that I think about it let's see here if I can hit him with it yeah he's gonna hit me with that okay oh yeah he did that's quite a bit of damage you did there freeze I'm trying to test my damage on you so could you hold still and all right yeah okay that's not very much damage it's only like 3,000 I don't know if it's just because I'm playing piccolo but I'm pretty sure see I might have been right about the reduced damage just, I remember that for some reason you're fighting Frizzy, you do really low amounts and you have to get through all the scenes unless you're able to avoid all this stuff because it can be tricky. Anyway, so now we're playing as Piccolo and we're going to make him jealous that he ever came up against us. So, we're going to blow him away and basically we're just holding out for time here as in the anime. Alright, so, what to do now? I guess I'll just power up to maximum and, oh hang on, am I going to eat that? No, I dodged it, okay. Sometimes I wonder that if I'm going to be in a bad situation and I've put myself in. Anyway, here we go. And swapping around so much, it's like going into a cutscene where I'm trying to say something. I feel like I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get hit by that. But he really loves that barrage death beam. He just keeps using it over and over, I think. I could be mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's been using it a lot. But anyway, like I said, if I'm talking, okay, another button input. And it makes it really hard to just say things when the button inputs are so close together at the end there, but... Anyway, yeah, Freeze's little scene is done there. And now we'll unlock Legendary Super Saiyan. And... No, it's not Broly. Or is it? Hang on a second, people. Hold your pants on. Give me a second here. And as you can see, there's another scene unlocked here. See how there's four? When there used to only be three, I think. Yeah, it was up to here. Maybe I didn't push over. I don't know. Anyway, next time we'll be doing Legendary Super Saiyan. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. And have a good day, night, or whatever time it is wherever you are. Tragulon, out.